my niece, uh, who's 15, does not know what 28 is. She doesn't get the concept of 28, which is... Well, I'll tell you what. Once you learn what 28 is, there's no going back. No one can take that knowledge away from you. It's pretty foundational knowledge. Um, I'm genuinely, I'm genuinely concerned for my niece, but I'm terrified calling the ca- calling the county could result in her being separated from my sister rather than forcing my sister to enroll her in some form of schooling. My niece has some physical and mental disabilities, but is otherwise ha- healthy and happy. My sister had been homeschooling her six years ago, but silently stopped. She'd be the one to tell us about meeting up with other students at the library, but I've just found out from my niece that that was essentially a lie, and my sister also did her schoolwork for her. So yeah, I mean, this is like, you know, that's that's a slippery slope, doing your, doing the schoolwork for your kid. What brought this about was my mother had started, I was 28, and she didn't understand the number. My sister then told her it's 2-8 for her to know what the word 28 was. I was shocked, saddened, and worried. What's 28, Mom? It's 2 and an (laughs) 8. Why don't they just call it 2-8? Hi, I'm 2-8 years old. This fucking two eight. You're a fucking two eight year old. You should be married by now. What the fuck is a two eight year old? <laughs> the fuck is twenty eight, mom? Ah, uh, she's a few weeks away from being fifteen and doesn't have skills or knowledge that she'll need in only a few years. <laughs> good thing I learned. Good thing I caught up on twenty eight. <laughs> Because <laughs> when you're 17, a lot of life shit comes. Like, I guess if you buy something that's 28, I guess like any type of shopping. It's like, a, like numbers is like the first, like even in like, like the little bit of Spanish I know, it's like numbers. It's a good place. Like it is kind of like a foundational place to start. But she doesn't like, you don't know the words 28. I gotta assume like you're on the internet. I don't, I don't know. This is actually is blowing my fucking mind. Because <laughs> once you learn it, there's no going back after you learn what 28 is. Uh, and she's gonna need that information in a few years. <laughs> she like she's made it up to 15 without needing it. Mommy, what's 17? <laughs> 17 is a one and a seven, honey. Now go back. The fucking eating paint chips. I like the I like cool ranch paint chips. <laughs> Me too. My sister does not have her GED and scrapes by doing Instacart jobs and living with our mother rent free. I do keep minding my own business. Oh, do I keep minding my own business or is there a way that I can help my niece without the worst possible scenario occurring? I'm afraid if the county finds out it could be filed under child neglect because the state of her bedroom is also so bad that the drywall is peeling from all the mess. So said, what, yeah, what makes drywall peel? Okay, so she's living in filth. She has a little bit of physical and mental disabilities, but that sounds like she may be inher- that might be a product of a uh, nurture over nature. This is this is a bleak, bleak story. What do you do? Do you call the freaking county? I say, <laughs> she didn't know what 28 is. You don't understand it. You don't understand what I'm saying. She didn't understand 28. Well, we're taking her away. We're gonna get we're gonna get this kid counting to a hundred in ninety days. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's what you do. You make a spectacle of her. You, you challenge yourself to teach her to count to 190 days. And then she'll be set for life. Well, I looked at the, like, I don't know. Just imagine, like, looking at a, like, today I looked at a ther- thermo- thermometer. It was 88 degrees. I thought the number in Spanish because I work with a lot of Spanish speakers, so there's so, um, you know, I have I have waning in spur, uh, motivation to learn Spanish, but I know ochenta y ocha. 
the Ocho. <laughs> oh, damn it. Hey. This isn't about me. I got past 27. Viente. Yeah, damn it. Now that I have to do it on the spot, maybe I don't know 27 in Spanish. 28, I guess. Uh, Viente Ocho. But yeah, so I was like, I just, you just couldn't imagine like looking at a thermometer, seeing 88 degrees and like, just being like, what does that mean? It's two eights. That's all I got. Which is, I get, I get you pretty close. 20 to 22. I'm already through the looking glass. That's what it is about this. Because there's no going back once you know what fucking numbers are. <laughs> so what do you do? So is is the mom at all functional? She, I mean, she's obviously you're obviously in like complete squalor. The drywall's peeling. She lives in a complete mess. You don't like you see something's wrong, but all you want to do is make a fucking phone call. So you just say it's not like you're gonna step up and be like, you know, I, like what? Could, like it sounds like she need, she maybe should be taken away. That's that's what I'm beating around the bush. Sounds like it's child neglect. Sounds like she's not living in a good situation. Can you talk to the grandma? But obviously, like, her fucking shit's a mess. If she, you know, the kid's room is a fucking complete mess. It's just, I don't know, someone who fell through the cracks of society. It's often the fattest people who fall through the cracks of society. Oh, my God. Why am I, why am I doing that? Why did I have to do that? Like, it must be a pretty big crack. Your body is a little bit of a, a reflection of your life. You know, your surroundings are a reflection of your life. Get her to start listening to Jordan Peterson, but she's not going to even be able to understand Jordan Peterson. He says 28 all the time. Actually, she might. He only he goes up to 12. He does 12 rules for life. But, ah, there's got to be a 28 in there somewhere. <laughs> you lost me at 28. This is sad. I mean, if you don't want the state to get involved, you got to get involved. Someone vaguely competent has to get involved. Someone vaguely with her best, with this girl's best interest has to get involved. Because obviously it's not the grandma or the mom. Like, obviously they don't, they don't, they lack whatever you need to be able to teach a kid stuff. Get, get her in school, but she's going to be in like the fucking second grade. She's going to be 15 in the second grade. I don't know, dude. I don't want to say she's lost. She's only 15. That's so young. But it's so old for not knowing what 28 is. Yeah, if you, they might take her away, and that might be honestly the best thing for her. If you don't want that to happen, you have to spend time with this poor girl and fucking get her to fucking read at least. Get her to read and then fucking get her curious. Maybe you can get her a job or something. Right now, the trajectory is looking like squalor, stupidity and squalor. But I don't even want to say stupidity because it's like, she's just a kid. She's just a kid. You got to know what fucking numbers are to do Instacart too. You got to pay for this shit. Like, oh, that's 2850. 2850? <laughs> uh, that's sad. Um. So yeah. No, don't mind your own business. Get involved. What are you gonna get? What are you gambling on? Are you gambling on her being taken away as the worst possible, the worst possible scenario for like one, uh, for like one second? Oh, not one second. For like, but it might be the short term worst possible scenario. The long term worst possible scenario is nothing changes and eventually the fucking house that they live in collapses collapses on them or they become homeless or something. And you know they have all this unfulfilled life. So do you, do you want to deal with it now? Deal with the worst, like the worst short-term possible scenario, which then could develop into some sort of a life where she's like involved in the world and like is able to learn and and develop her interests. Or are you interested in the long-term worst worst case scenario where she grows up and then is not someone who functions and then that leads to other horrible things happening to her. So it's like this is like a really big band-aid. I don't know. 
I don't know the analogy. Maybe it's been on for too long, and maybe the wound just needs needs to heat some air. Maybe the bandaid got wet and it's anti uh, antithetical to the healing, so you got to rip off the bandaid. Okay, shitty analogy. Uh, uh, a fifteen-year-old not knowing what twenty-eight is is like a bandaid that got wet. I say you either get involved or you get the state involved. Secretly, teacher numbers. <laughs>